I'm going to show you how to get gold welds using silicon tick brazing on steel and stainless steel. I'm going to do it on two separate things here. I got some 3 16 thick steel coupons and I got a couple pieces of stainless steel scrap. So the main thing you want, you want to do is you want to make sure that all the mill scales off of the welding area. I'm going to tack together where both joints are the cleanest. So also when you're TIG brazing, you're going to want your amps down a bit less than if you're just regular TIG welding with mild steel because the melting point of silicon bronze is much lower than your regular wire. Normally I would use a 332nd thick wire, but I don't have any. All I have is 1 16th. Your feed rate is definitely going to be pretty high. Every time you feed the wire into the, into the weld, you want to dump it in there and you're kind of doing a nice, nice long pass. Kind of like uh, I would compare it to welding, TIG welding aluminum. I'll first do it on this steel right here. Let me get the welding lens on so you guys can watch it better. All right, hopefully this will be in a good enough position to where you can see what's going on. And hopefully I can still perform this style of welding as good as I used to. It's been a while since I did some silicon tick brazing. I'm going to try to get it. I might have to adjust my, adjust my heat. So I'm going to first tack it a little better at the end. Yeah. yeah, it looks like I might have to increase my amperage here. Yeah, I got to turn it up a little bit. So I think I'm at like 75 right now. I'm at 70. So I'm going to crank it up to 85. Give that a shot. Some nice heavy dips. Decent amount of travel before another dip. Now I'm just letting that fill before I keep moving. I'll have to do another weld without the weird ass angle in the camera. But. Here's, here's the first pass, but look at that, some real nice, pretty gold welds there. Once that cools down and you hit it with a wire brush, it looks so awesome. Um, I'm going to let that cool down and we're going to do the, we're going to do the stainless steel real quick. Make sure this is clean. Just like aluminum, you want to make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm just spraying it down with some, uh, denatured alcohol. Should be a little bit better. And I, I think I, I'm going to turn it down to 70. 11 gauge plate, 70 amps. That was a pretty good one. And it's definitely, it's definitely pretty weird to get super consistent with it, especially with, uh, with the smaller wire. With, with a 332nd wire, it's it's a lot easier to get a more consistent looking weld looking when you wire brush it. It starts turning colors. Kind of like just like stainless wood. But once, once you let it cool down and then you wire brush it, that, that color change will kind of go away. Very pretty. It's looking bronze. All right, let's try to wire brush it again. Okay. Let's back to the gold. Start to slowly change colors again. Look how beautiful that is. Kind of, kind of messed up on my uh, spacing, but like I said, it's a lot easier to stay consistent with a thicker rod. The one, the one sixteenth rod. It's a, it's a little difficult to stay consistent with it unless you're use, unless you're doing like some thin material but that's pretty sweet there's the steel this is still a little warm but watch when we wire brush this oh my goodness it's beautiful a little inconsistent because the camera was in my way from keep, keeping a good angle so yeah, basically as a recap, all you really need is uh, some nice sharp tungsten. 15 to 20% lower amperage of what you'd usually use for just a regular TIG weld. And this three, use 332nd silicon bronze. But yeah, and then and that's, the TIG brazing is pretty easy. Just it's, I, I like to compare it to TIG welding aluminum. 
and that's and that's about it. Good luck.